hey guys welcome in again um it's nearly the end of the month it is the what is it 28th for me i haven't even pushed or started my push i just got pushed out of top thousand as you can see up in that top corner i've got to do some grinding if i want to make the top 100 even if i want to keep myself in the top thousand um so i haven't done any matches today i'm a little while away from getting my boosters done so I'm trying to get a couple of matches out of the way. Hopefully, get my hopefully get my rating up a bit higher. Um, <clears throat> anyway, let's jump into it. I've been considering to switch back to my old poison for a little bit. Maybe I haven't tried um, mixing cocoa into my old poison, which will probably just be um, remove a crowbat for cocoa. And that's pretty much the same deck as this, but <laughs> Venusaur instead of um, Delphox, and just different plates. Because without the Delphox Recycle, I'd be needing different plates. So, here we go, we've got a Tropical Ganganite. Interesting, double zap but no Cocoa. Wow. Alright, well we'll see how he goes. <clears throat> Venusaur though, X-Virus, ah! Oh. Ah, oh, would you look at that? So what I'm going to do here is I want to drop my cocoa down. I want to start getting the threats out, out fast. And after I've got that one down, I want to get my crowbat out to onto the right side. So what I want to do here is threaten him as much as I can, and. Crowbat comes out. Oh, is he going to attack because he's got a sea level on his? No, he doesn't have sea level. What am I thinking? Um, so I want to come out with my Gengar right about now. And I believe I've got the sea levels on him. On everything. So mine is 103. And that should be any of his mons. Does he have a long throw is the question I need to ask. He does have a long throw. So if I do that, actually, I can do it. Because that'll surround his mon, and that's why I do the setup. So, Mega Gengar coming out. Hopefully, I can attack and get some white on white action. That's what I'm looking for. And I want to knock this thing out. If I can knock this thing out, it should be a good game. Whoo! Get that weight. So, Mega Gengar's on weight. He can now feel free to start shutting his other things down. And what I want to do now is start shutting him down. He's got a long throw, so he can get some one other mon out, depending who he wants to get out. But before that, I want to hopefully get my uh, my mons out into business. A long throw comes down. Zapdos in front of Coco. All right. So what I want to do here, I want to get my Zapdos out. I want to get into a position where I can attack his Gengar, take his Gengar out. And hopefully, hopefully do some damage. What I should have done, and what I think I could have done better, is after he did that, oh, Mega Gengar into here, surround that Zapdos, and double chance to attack the one on goal. That's what I should have done. But, I didn't. So I'm just going to go up here, attack this Gengar. I want to get it out, get it out of the way. There we go. I just needed to land it yellow. If I didn't land it yellow, I was in trouble. So, I landed it. It's alright. My Zapdos is going to do my dirty work for me. And right about now, I am going to go up and I feel like I want to attack. Ah, uh, double chance. So I want to double chance onto this little ghost here. And the reason why I'm doing this is because that thing, if, if it confuses Zap, Zap is useless. So if he gets a 3 star on my white or purple, then I'm in trouble. So I'm, I'll, I want anything but white and red right about now. Right, I'll take a roost. Um, and now, because of that, he's only got gold rock, tropical, and um, switch left. So we'll see what he wants to do. He's going to go for the threaten. And I am going to go defensive with my toad. I want to. I need to take. A toad is going to be the next one I take to level five. Um, nearly everything. Only toad and Gengar aren't level five in this deck. Oh, and Delphox level one. But 
I just got my Coco to level 5 and I'm happy I did. And, oh, this is scary stuff. If he attacks here, he can be in an amazing position. No, he doesn't. Alright, so that's fine. Oh, I don't mind Venusaur coming out at all. I would rather back up that Toad. And now what I want to do, I want to get some fun times happening. If he attacks and loses, if I go gold on purple or gold on 50, I'll take that as well there. So what I'll do, he's got a tropical, so that's fine. But what I'll do, I want to bring my little bat back here. I'm just going to attack, see if I can't poison him. No, shuttle flip. And also, also, this also sets up a trap for me to max revive Coco, surround it. And that's the plan. Um, I always try and s disguise my traps with an attack. Um, to make it to something that's, oh, he's attacking me. Rather than, oh, he's just setting up a, tra a trap. Oh, the Sableye coming in clutch. Wow. So, right about there... I'm going to max revive my Coco. I need to get rid of the Sableye. That thing. Just won that matchup for him. And I can't believe it. I don't mind Crobat coming out. Doesn't, Crobat doesn't mind bother me at all. So I'd rather have Crobat out than anything else at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I want to... I don't have a switch, do I? No. Swap spot. So what I want to do is... I want to, there's a few different ways I can play this, and I feel, um, I want to put um, my Delphox just up in, in front here for a start, and then I want to move my Toad around, and I need to get poisoning things with the Toad. So I want to get poison things, I want to take everything off my back line, I'm not really afraid of the two Zapdos. Um, <clears throat> So here we go, attacking Delphox. I'm hoping for that purple or a miss. Alright. I'll take that too. So, but one other thing I can do is if I attack that, I don't want to attack it just yet because I don't want to knock it out accidentally. Um, so I'm going to put my, my Crobat just up here. And then I don't want to surround it yet. I can surround it next turn, but I want to hopefully get some more misses. There we go, give me that Gengar back, please, or a Max Revive. What plate am I going to get? Now this is the Gengar! Alright, so I want to try and trick him now. I want to get him into a position where I can get a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky win of from Gengar. So, <clears throat> the way I am going to do that, I'm going to move over here, and end my turn. He does not have a goal block. So let's see, he may want to move his Crobat out here. Or just straight down there. If he attacked then Shuttle Flip, I think he should have Shuttle Flipped right there. He could have Shuttle Flipped and won. Um, so what I want to do is plant, plant my Toad down. And then I want to get to work with my Crobat. Alright, so he attacks. If he... Oh, I was going to say, if he poisoned me, then I'll be slow. I wouldn't be able to jump over as many things. But now I want to set up a surround. I want to set up a surround, and then I want to take his entry. And then I want to use uh, Mega Gengar like a sneaky, 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 sneaky thing. <laughs> Alright, so first off, here's the surround. I'm going to take this around. Coco doesn't have bad chances against um, uh, Venusaur. The 130 is going to not just straight out knock me out. Um, I'm hoping 1 on 100, 100 on 100 right about now. Whew, thunder charge, alright. So, he gets a thunder charge, that's, that's fine. So I'm just going to move on up here and end my turn. If he chooses to attack me again and I get the 100, he's going to be in trouble. If he paralyzes me, he should paralyze me first. Or he doesn't. So, what I want to do now... I want to attack this Venusaur. I want to get a 0 MP. I want, to, I want to try and recycle my Crobat, get it 0 MP, and then pull my, my monster out. 
So we'll see what he wants to do here. Paralyzing all of us. Wow. Venusaur is not as good paralyzed. Like Coco and Crobat only lose a small, small chunk. So what I want to do, I want to move my, my toad up here. And then after that, I want to swap spot. And I can swap forward with my Crobat here. One, two, three up there. And then be in a surroundable position. I can surround either of his mons next turn. So as long as I can dodge here or go for my white on white. Oh, get some damage! Perfect time for some damage! Um, do I want to do that? Oh, actually... No. <laughs> I was thinking, I can do Crobat and Surround, but no, then Coco would get disappeared. So, what I want to do here is swap spot, those two. And now I want to set up a double Surround. So, he's got to either move Venusaur or, or his... Uh, or his Zapdos. If he doesn't, or he doesn't take out Coco, he can take out Coco and then potentially off. Oh, there you go, but that's perfect. And now I can come up, attack Venusaur, get Venusaur a zero MP in the middle. That's what I'll prefer. Or just straight take it out. I'll straight straight take it out. Come on, Zapdos, Spinamus. <laughs> um, but there we have it. So this is working in my favor massively. He goes defensive with uh, with his um, Zapdos, which I think is the wrong move. I definitely think it's the wrong move. I think you gotta when you're into this position, you need to attack. If you don't attack, you're gonna only be worse off. So now he's gonna be sandwiched down on his goal. I want to get Delphox out. I want to recycle Delphox. I've still got my Mega Gengar to use. So here we go. I don't mind that at all. Let's try and poison this. If I can poison it, then I can potentially take it out with anything. Shadow Flip going down. Alright. Shadow Flip's not bad. I'm just going to stay there though. Keep the pressure on. Make him attack me. That's what I really want. Um, and see how he deals with this. I've only got two minutes left. So he's actually... Wow! He's going for the attack. Come on. Give me that white. Give me that white. Please. Ooh, roost. So, now that he's got a roost, he doesn't have a Pokey Switch and Gold Block. So, what I'm going to do is scoop up, scoop up my Toad, get my Toad healed, and now I'm going to surround that Zap. So, he's only got a, s a Switch and a Gold Block left. He can't do anything about it. He's now got to attack. He cannot move that Zap, those off goal. This is game. Got Mega Gengar on one side, got Coco on the other side, got Crobat in the middle. GG. Um, I didn't even get to use my Mega Gengar. I think I might just pop it just for fun. Next turn. <laughs> um, if there is a next turn, there's nothing he can do. All he can do is a switch. So I think it's just going to be a forfeit. But Tropical going down. Wow. Alright, so let's surround that thing. And then next turn on, it's going to pop my Mega Gengar. Whatever happens, I just want to use it since I've got it back. Thank you, Delphox. Thank you. Pokemon Switch coming down. <laughs> Alright, so since you're doing that, I want to play around as well. Let's go Mega Gengar. Hello! Double Mega Gengar back again. <laughs> I love it. Delphox, you're amazing. You're amazing, Delphox. Oh, so now he can't do anything but burn a turn. <laughs> Attack, Crobat. What I can do now is go for... Whoa, nearly on that. See, this is why I need to level up that Mega Gengar. Um, he doesn't have Phantom Energy, so he can't bring it back out. But he's only got Tropical. He's used Tropical, Gengar, and Gold Block. So there's nothing else he can do. Um, so what I want to do... Move down here. His turn, wait, win. Um, Mega Gengar, though. Mega Gengar, amazing. <laughs> He'll just be in, going into Discord right now, I'm sure, and sending me a message saying, good game, or something of the sort, I'm sure. Um, and if he disconnects on me, then uh, that's not nice. But, we'll see what he does. Um, that's a bad thing. With the weight wins, they should just be able to straight tick over, and then as soon as it ticks over, even if they're, they're, they're connecting, there's nothing they could do, so it should just give you a weight win. So, I didn't know that. Next time, I'm just going to put them on on goal. 
and in the back. Yeah, so there we go. This stick can do amazing things for me. The games that I've lost have been quite unfortunate, but I keep I win a whole bunch of games and then I lose one or two against game decks that I shouldn't lose against and lose heaps and heaps of rating. And it's just keeping me from, like I'll get right up to my peak where I should just win one or two games and then and then I'll go skyrocket towards the top hundred. But yeah, anyway, uh, there's a victory. <laughs> And that's how this game, this how that says this deck works. There's a poison Mega Gengar. He didn't even get a chance to use his Mega Gengar, and that's how I like it. And that's how I always try and run it. I got to use mine twice. Use mine twice and him none. And that's how I like it. And that's how it should be. Um, I've got some pretty fortunate rolls, but I definitely think I'm going to try and give him some suggestions for his deck after this. So, so I'm going to go and find him on Discord. Find them in the X-Land and have a bit of a talk with them and see what we can do. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. My game has been taking a, a ages to load today. Like, ever since those problems with the league yesterday and them taking the game up and down. Like, I've had the like, return to title screen errors. I've had the game just freezing all the time. And it ain't, it ain't good. It's not nice. So, I'm back up to 3.3. I need to get my monthly up. And that's what I'm going to be aiming for. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And we'll see you guys next time. Or very soon. I'm probably going to try and put out a few more of these vids. Since it's coming to the end of the month with my grind. So hope you're looking forward to this. And we'll guys, see you guys next time.